Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus, and bringing you a very special breakdown of ESPN's top 74 NBA players of all time. Before I get right into this controversial list, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, support so you can get the updates each and every week when we make our video content here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, we're getting right into the action. Um, I saw ESPN's list recently um, this week, a day ago. And it took me a, a long time to digest this actual list. When I'm looking at this top 74 players of all time list for NBA basketball, I was very disappointed. Uh, for one, I saw a lot of players that play now that I don't think have accomplished enough to be on the list. I'll say that. I see a lot of players that are out of order on the list as far as their ranking. And it's just a little confusing to see who specifically put who on this list and why they're where they're at. Just going over the obvious, you know, starting the list. I know a lot of people love Michael Jordan. Um, I would prefer to have LeBron number one overall. This documentary of The Last Dance has shown me that Michael Jordan was more human and needed a lot more that came to uh, the game of basketball than we realized. When you look at Scottie Pippen, B.J. Armstrong, uh, Luke Longley, uh, Horace Grant, when you look at uh, Ron Harper, when you look at Dennis Rodman, when you look at all those guys, Bill Cartwright, uh, <clears throat> just it's it's so many things that were needed in order for him to have a loaded team in order to win. And when you saw Jordan have to use the teammates to to pass the ball, like to John Paxson, to Steve Kerr, to Scottie Pippen, when you saw him have to trust in his teammates and it paid off, Phil Jackson well, is the the master manipulator as far as getting Michael Jordan to buy into certain things. Um, when you look at the greatest shooting guard of all time, I will give Michael Jordan that. But I think LeBron is just a slightly better player, just in my humble opinion. Just for those reasons, you know, LeBron's a full-tooled monster. When you look at that, when he's able to do every single thing in the toolbox, I don't think Jordan passes as well. When you look at Scottie Pippen being on the all-defensive team all those years with Jordan, I think that Jordan got a pass on some of those years because Scotty oftentimes took the best offensive player on the opposing team and allowed Jordan to expend that energy on offense. Scotty Pippen wasn't really a scorer. He didn't need the ball in his hands to be effective. So that's just some of the argument I have on there for why Jordan should be number two versus one. Kobe, with all due respect, rest in peace, Kobe. Kobe is not a top 10 NBA player, in my opinion. You have players like Oscar Robertson outside of the top 10. You have players like Elgin Baylor outside of the top 10. Um, and I found it disrespectful, some of these players on this list. When I saw James Harden at 32, and I'm thinking to myself, James Harden is not top 40, top 50, top 60 NBA players of all time. When I'm looking at James Harden, is he a good offensive player? Possibly one of the greatest um, regular season players of all time? Sure. But when you look at his full stat and his full game, James Harden is not a top 50 NBA player at all. Um, when you look at a lot of these players that had to play both sides of the ball, James Harden doesn't come close to a lot of these guys. The disrespect to Charles Barkley to have him at 23, people don't realize Charles Barkley was not just a rebounder. When he went to Phoenix, he showed you the full plethora of what he can do in a Phoenix Suns uniform. Being able to rebound, being able to score, being able to uh, play amazing defense. Charles Barkley should be a lot higher than number 23. Elgin Baylor, a lot of people discount him because literally he didn't win a lot of championships. But Elgin Baylor should be a lot higher than 22 on this list. When I see Westbrook and I see Anthony Davis on this list, I see Giannis at 27. These guys shouldn't be, and I, for Jesus Christ's sake, Steph Curry at 13? Steph Curry... As good as a shooter as Steph Curry is, Steph Curry is not on this list for anything other than his shooting ability. Being able to win those MVPs, that's nice. But you saw what Steph Curry was made of when crunch time happened. And the pressure's on Steph Curry. He was not getting the job done. Um, John Stockton, as good as he was, uh, 28 is a bit high for me. I think John Stockton benefit from having Carl Malone and not really having anybody other than Jeff Hornacek on his team to really pass the ball to. Um, yes, I know it's 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 different things here or there, but I don't believe John Stockton is better than Allen Iverson in general as a basketball player. I don't believe John Stockton is better than Isaiah Thomas of the Detroit Pistons. 
When you look at Detroit Pistons and you look at Isaiah Thomas, you're looking at what he did um, to beat Larry Bird and Magic Johnson in their primes to win an NBA title. When you look at how special that Pistons team were, uh, even though they played a lot of football, Isaiah Thomas could hoop. He could ball. He could put the ball in the uh, in the in the in the rim. He could do so many different things. So I think that this this ESPN list was was a lot of things. I don't think it was accurate. Um, again, it's disappointing because you have a lot of players that are out of place. I was disappointed to see Bill Walton so high up on the list when I think Bill Walton should be lower. The Iceman. Um, George Gervin should be a lot lower on the list as far as uh, I would keep him top 30. Um, but again, a lot of these guys that are playing in the NBA today, like Steph Curry, Giannis, and, and Westbrook, and AD, um, I don't see them yet as those guys that should be top 74 players. Um, overall, the list was pretty cool. You got to see a lot of names that you haven't seen in a lot. Um, but you have to respect the old guys that came before us to play the game of basketball. I know it was a different time period in basketball, um, but we have to include those guys because they're the they're the matriarchs of the game. They're the guy that led the way and 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 paved the way for a lot of these guys to do what they're doing now. Um, and it's just it's 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 crazy. Um, a lot of the guys on the list I expected to see on the list I didn't see on the list. Um, even when it comes to Dominique Wilkins being so high on the list, I'm thinking to myself, as good as Dominique was, Dominique's game was predicated to dunking, not to shooting the three, not to having a full complement of weapons, but it was to in-game power dunking. So, I mean, to me personally, I saw, you know, Bill Walton behind Dominique, and I'm thinking to myself, Bill Walton was one of the greatest players of all time. Bill Walton, when he was with um, Lou Alcindor at UCLA coming in, I know he was hampered by injuries and things like that. But Bill Walton, when you see him in a, a Portland Trailblazers uniform, when you see him in a Celtics uniform, and you look at the stat lines and see what he was able to accomplish, no, he doesn't have a 20-year career, but what he did was was damn good in, in, in Hall of Fame. So it, it it's hard to say, but to me, I don't know what the bias was for this list. But I'm disappointed that ESPN didn't get it right. You had a lot of players on here that should have been on this list, that should have been higher. Again, when it goes back to Elgin Baylor, do you know what Elgin Baylor and Jerry West did? It was unheard of back in the day. Yes, they failed a lot, but their individual play should be honored and separated from a lot of these other guys. So it's just... Uh, if we're talking all-time great players, a lot of these players, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about ESPN's top 74 all-time list. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, if you had any honorable mentions that you didn't see on the list, who would you have in the top 74 that you didn't see them have? Uh, for all other inquiries, feel free to let us know. We love to debate here at Sports Choice Plus. We want to make sure you're safe during this COVID-19 um, and you know, we want to debate and keep everybody's spirits up. So feel free, leave comments, make sure you're sharing in Facebook and make sure you're tagging us so we can debate with you each and every week. Thank you so very much. Please stay safe and we'll see you next video.